What's up YouTube, Max Lack Strings here. Uh, I know it's been a while since I made a video, but when I got the chance to review this head here, uh, I just couldn't pass it up. So uh, a few weeks back, I got an email from Billy Bitter, one of the best college lacrosse players ever to play. Um, and he offered to send me out Maverick's new head uh, to review and share with you guys, so I knew I couldn't pass it up. So the head that I'm sharing with you guys today is called the Maverick Tactic. Uh, it's Maverick's newest lacrosse head, um, and it's only uh, available in universal spec because of all the upcoming rule changes regarding head width. Alright, to start off this review, I kind of wanted to get in detail to uh, some of the new technologies that Maverick has put into this new head. So the first thing I want to go over is the X-Rail technology, and that's right here in the sidewall um, that connects the upper and lower rail here. Um, these pieces right here, it's almost like two separate pieces. Uh, they kind of cross each other like an X and uh, it really helps create uh, a lightweight and uh, stiff design so your head performs consistently. It's also made out of um, what they're calling a Durotuff material and uh, we've been seeing this in a lot of the new Maverick heads um, as well as some other uh, heads um, and it's kind of a, a really tough uh, like rigid plastic that they're using for their molds uh, in their molds um, which creates a really long lasting head. The next piece of technology has to do with the offset of the head and how the uh, plastic and the angle comes up like this. Uh, it's, how, it's designed to create a, a better uh, release point when shooting so you're more consistent with your shots. Uh, next going into stringing, which is of course my favorite part. Um, it has a ton of sidewall holes just like almost all top of the line heads have these days. Um, based on how the bottom and top rails are designed with its offset, uh, it's got, it kind of strings uh, a higher pocket, uh, which is meant for uh, shooters, um, but for all around players. Um, so I kind of strung it with a low pocket in mind, but it, it shifts up a little bit based on the side, uh, how the bottom rail is um, placed on the head. Uh, but it still breezes string up and you can string any type of pocket that you want in it. Uh, moving into the face shape of the head, I really do like this face shape. It's got a very wide throat. Um, and, it, and it's pretty consistent coming up through the head, but then flares out nicely. Not too much of a flare. Uh, overall, I mean, it's kind of just like a great universal stick for any type of player. Um, I recommend it mostly for offensive players, but a defensive player definitely could use this uh, head too. It's got a, a great face shape for any player. Uh, I just wanted to add one little piece on the throat of the head. Um, it's very sturdy. Uh, it's not as short as some of the throats that we've seen on uh, some of the new Maverick heads, uh, like the Optic, but uh, it's still very sturdy and it's not going to break on you. The Maverick Tactic is available now for $99 on pretty much uh, any lacrosse supplier site or store, um, and it's only available in white uh, and universal spec, uh, but it's still a great pickup and I really recommend it to any lacrosse player, um, especially high school lacrosse players and uh, offensive players. But definitely, guys, check this out. Uh, it's really going to be worth your time. It's going to be a long-lasting head that will give you uh, some great confidence on the field. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I really appreciate it, and uh, I appreciate your patience uh, with me not coming out with a bunch of videos recently. Um, but just make sure to like this video and uh, really uh, go check out the Maverick Tactic. Thanks for watching.